health sector where there's a developing story of two new senior high schools and the University of Ghana having recorded cases of H3N2. Now, according to the Director of Public Health at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Idu Sarkodi, about 150 cases were reported on the university campus in a period of one week. Now, this brings to about a half a dozen academic students to have been hit by the flu and growing concerns it might spread further. On November 8, 2019, students of the Presbyterian Boys Senior High School in Accra had been sent on a midterm break after the outbreak of H3N2 flu in the school. This was after three schools in the eastern region recorded cases of the flu. Two more schools, St. Mary's Girls Senior High School and Tema Secondary School, have reported cases of the influenza on their campuses. The University of Ghana is the first tertiary institution to be cited for the case, with about 150 cases reported. University of Ghana uh, Hospital have been reporting cases and the caseload keep increasing for some period. So quickly, he sent team to assess, and indeed the district had been managing the situation, but they thought it was mild, so they didn't bring it out to the region and to us. So when we went there, okay, the, there were quite a number of cases. Uh, this one up to about 150 for a period of one week. This brings up the growing concern of the increasing number of cases in the two regions of Greater Accra and the Eastern Region. Dr. Bedusa Akodye, however, says the number cannot be quantified, yet maintaining the situation is being managed. The caseload kept increasing at the initial um, time, initial period. As the case incident, the cases per day, kept reducing and reducing to zero. We can say it's close to being contained. Those from the eastern region, I think three or four of them, the situation, I will say, has come to normalcy. While stating measures the Ghana Health Service has put in place to ensure that the outbreak is outrightly eradicated, Dr. Sarkodie has closed that vaccines are available but have a short protection period. Ghana has not decided to use vaccine for influenza at this time because um, one, we've been fortunate, the case load is low, we have the burden for now, we are using about 13 vaccines. We know that there are effective vaccines for it and then uh, the cases periodic, we have it. But considering the cost benefit analysis, we think that um, we, it's not the time for us as a country to go for it now. In order to indicate that the outbreak of the H3N2 influenza has been completely eradicated, a 21-day period is required after the last reported case.